um, here we are outside the um, International Centre for Prayer. And um, what, what are you praying for today, the pair of you? I'm praying for a bees victory. It doesn't matter whatever sort. We just need a win to get our season off starting. And if I were to go to the bookies, I'd be placing a bet on a 2-1 victory for the bees. I think it's quite ironic that there is a bookies underneath the International Centre for Prayer below us, but I too am praying for a bees win as well. We've talked much about the bad luck we've had. I've got a feeling Birmingham is going to be lucky for us in more ways than one today. All I am saying is give bees a chance. Give bees, give bees a, a chance. chance. All we are saying <laughs> is give bees a chance. So, we are going to go to Aston Villa today. We what are. What the hell is going to happen? I, I have absolutely no idea. It could be great, it could be awful. I'm really not sure at the moment. It's quite a positive team, I think. Uh, well, we, we, we've still got a good squad. Uh, you look at the you look at the team. You look at the subs bench. Uh, lose three players to Birmingham. Still, still are looking you, strong. Are you worried about that today? <laughs> worried about what? The, the players that we've lost. Is that impacting? Yes, I, th I think it does. But uh, we'll get over it. You know, last time we lost a big player back in January. Guess what? We played Aston Villa the next game and we slaughtered them 3-0. He might be playing today. He, he could be, if selected. But uh, I think, in retrospect, I'd rather have the 9 million quid. It's important that we get the three points, to be honest, because we've got into a habit of not winning games, which um, is obviously not very good. Um, we need to break that habit and break that habit very quickly. Woodsy starts today, more pace starts today. What, what are you looking for from this starting, starting eleven? I think we've got to get at them. As I said, they're in a similar position because being Villa, they expect to be winning games at this level in the same way that we expect to be winning games. They're not winning and they're hovering around the place that we have. Although they've won a game, we haven't. Prediction? That's the only difference. Uh, the, I think it'll be a draw. It's similar to the Wolves game. The Wolves game kind of showed that we are we matched them easily, but we weren't able to get across the line. I suspect it'll be the same. Um, I think you're going to get done, to be honest. Us. Yeah, I think you're going to get done. You sold all your best players to Birmingham City. They're the what? mighty Birmingham oh, I mean, City. So. You're not happy about that? Oh, I am happy because uh, your best players have been sold, so hopefully we'll do that. Half-time, nil-nil, we're, we're by far the better team. Yeah, not, I didn't know what to expect today with um, post-transfers. Got to be happy with that, haven't you? We've put in a, a good shift today. More than match their team, spending five times our wages. We've got to be happy, and to be honest, at the moment, possibly just edged out, I thought, yeah. So, you know, obviously we've, we've, we've lost three kind of core players today. Yeah. Um, the replacements have come in, Canos have come in, he's limped off. You know, how, how, how have you sort of gauged this performance based on what we've lost so far? I have to say, I think I was more gutted than I should have been, having, having seen the team sheet since uh, those players have gone. It's not as weak as necessarily you perceive it. So, but, you know, I think we could still put a decent shift in in the championship. Who knows how far we'll go with it. It's early days. Big, big game for Woodsy today as well. Oh, yeah, he's been putting a good shift, hasn't he? He's, he's, the master is back, isn't he? The controlling the game. Got to love it. Come on, you. Nil-nil half-time. What did you make of the first half? I think uh, towards the end of the uh, first half, it was good, good possession football. We just need to um, get more bodies in the box and pull it away. Because I think we're getting most of the ball now. So we just need to punish. Do you think Villa fans are going to start getting frustrated now because you know they're not getting it all their own way, are they? Nah, they're not. So we need to take advantage of that, though. 
you know, um, we need to just, you know, stay with the possession football and just try and take our chances. And you know, because you know, football's a funny game, so you know, we could have most of the ball and then it can hit us on the counter attack and then we could concede. So we just gotta be careful about that. I agree. It's important not to concede here, but you know, we've lost three key players in the transfer window. Yeah. Players have come in today. How, how have they? How have they stepped up? They've done well, man. They've done well. I think they'll, they'll be all right. You know, um, you know, watching them there, they've been good. So hopefully they'll just carry on doing what we're doing and just make a goal in the second half. It's good as well. We had more possession and we got a few chances in there. Villa didn't really have any chances at all. You know, we lost a, we lost a few important players in the transfer window. Yeah. What did you make of the people that have come in today? Um, of what I've seen of them, I, I think they're pretty good. Uh, they need to allow them a bit of chance to sort of settle into the way Brentford play to, to allow them to fulfil sort of Brentford. So it's a big 45 minutes to come. What's going to happen? Um, I reckon we, we might be able to get a few more chances, maybe score a couple. Um, yeah. So you, you're looking for a win or are you looking for a draw? Win. Looking for a win, hope for a draw. Come on you bees. Yeah. On you go, we have author Greville Walkman at half time. Talk us through the first half and tell us about your book. Brilliant, brilliant performance. We've controlled it. We've played lovely football until we get to the final third. We're just quite lacking that final ball. A little bit of confidence, a little bit of rub of the green, a little bit of something, a little bit of mope not doing air shots. But it's nice football. We're getting better and better and better. And this is still going to be a great season. And by the book. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about your Bob Booker book. Oh, come on. We all know who Bob Booker is. Bob Booker is what you or I would like to be if we were a footballer. Gives everything, shows everything, chases everything, screws up, comes back for more. And you know what? Every Brentford fan, every Sheffield United fan, every Brighton fan love him. So it's all there on Amazon so, in the club shop. So, so he's a Brentford player that played for us, 77, 78. Yeah. Scored a hat-trick on his home debut. That's the one. Then he... Um, played for us for a few years. He played for us for 10 years. He was earning £200 a week as an upholsterer when he joined Brentford. He got a wage decrease to £60 a week. It took him eight years to catch up to where he was and he used to work through the summer in a builder's yard. That's what it was like in those days. And then he came back to us he came back in, to, the first, in the yeah, first division. And he, he, he left as the lowest paid player, came back as the highest paid player, which was hilarious. Did his knee again in his first game played on one leg for a year but a proper character proper proper man proper man a real a really good story yeah. and everyone loves him come and see him when he comes back to come Brentford. on you bees. all the best we'll win Shenanigans shot to window. We thought it would be a bit of a hiding. Trying to build that confidence was difficult. But we had, we had three, uh, today, very, three very good chances to win this today. That's one disappointed. We showed what we're about today. We got a decent squad. We lost players. The players still here are good. Don't worry about that. Disappointed. We could have won. Maybe should have won. Onwards and upwards. Come you, on, uh, Nil nil will get out of Villa Park. What did you make of that? More than happy. Brilliant performance, main thing, but yeah, all day long. We, 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 you know, this is important that we, after the transfer deadline, we, we come out and we put in a performance. Are you happy with that performance? More than happy. It's trust in the team, trust in Dean Smith, great support, all day long. No problems. Three or four very good chances today. Should have won it. Two one on to ones. Another day I think we would have won that, but more than happy. Talking of another day, we've got another tricky 
trip up to Sheffield on Tuesday. Are we going to build on today? Hopefully. I think the performances are there. Bit of luck, I know a day we will be higher up in the league. But more than happy, definitely. Can you beat? All day long. Performance wise, I was really impressed, really solid. Dalsgaard's obviously been told to sort of have a think about his defensive duties and that was good. Egan and uh, Barbe look good at the back and we're back to the kind of nice football we've been playing previously and it was, yeah, it's good. Any worries? We're still, we're still, we're still at the RC. Yeah, but you know, it's early, it's still early days, yeah. Ten games and you'll start to see, well, you know, it's tough. It's a tough division. We've just got a point over there. Villa fan, what did you make of that game today? That that was we were lucky to get a point. We really? Were, yes, Brentford were far the better side. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you wanna see goals with plenty of style There's only one team who can